Welcome back, MTG Joe here, and uh, we are testing out some more uh, aggressive decks from the Red Bull tournament this weekend. Uh, we played Four Color Winota, which was a ton of fun. Uh, that video will be up on Monday on YouTube if you missed it. But uh, some wacky turns. You tack in with Grazers and Geese and create a whole bunch of uh, agents and stuff. Had some turn three concedes. Um, so what we're playing now is a Mardu Black Red White Knights list. Um, so this is a deck uh, that had some play. It was a, a Black Red Knights list that played earlier in the standards before during what Eldraine? Yeah, during Throne standard. Um, kind of backed by tournament grounds. This is a tri land for knights, which really helps these aggressive strategies and something that's lacking for a lot of these archetypes. Um, but basically, Lurus kind of makes it so we can play all our creatures from the graveyard if need be. Uh, you have Venerated Knight, Knight of Even Legion, Fervent Champion, which pumps up the team. Uh, Worthy Knight in the main board makes you go wide. You have Black Lions as a trick with Fervent Knight, um, but also just a pretty aggressive threat. Smitten Swordmaster can be used as a life drain. You have Rimrock also to pump up. Some uh, Lords in Inspiring Veteran. And then you have uh, Exile in the form of Dire Tactics. There's a bunch of off-human knights to work with it. And then Fight as One to protect multiple creatures and pump them up. Um, otherwise, Mana Base, you have some tri lands as well. But otherwise, everything else does come into play theoretically untapped. The sideboard... Uh, we got some dead weights. We got some duress versus the aggro matchup. I made a switch. They had the uh, protection from white red spell. I forget its name. The creature that uh, gets plus two when it attacks. I like Soul Guide Lantern for like the cycling matchups. Anything you want to target the graveyard. It's also good with uh, Luris because you can recast it and just use it as a card draw. Um, some shield breakers for uh, if they bring in Cage, and then uh, the Spark for big stuff and another Dire Tactics in there. Um, so we'll play some games, see how it goes. We are kind of at the floor, went on a pretty terrible streak yesterday. I was lost a couple games, played a bunch of bad decks to just kind of amplify it, but I'm, re I'm really excited for Historic. Uh, we'll start playing some Historic starting next weekend. It comes up the rank ladder on um, Thursday. Okay, so we got Yori in here. It's fine. We're going to go nice and aggressive here. So we might be able to run them down. Probably go Venerated Knight into Black Lions. I'm just going to play this out to gain life and then into Inspiring Veteran. I think we do that. Since we're going to play it out, they usually don't have a play on two to kill it. If they do, they'll get rid of it. It's fine. With, like they play sometimes a one of Glass Casket. If they have their one of in an 80 card deck, so be it. Um, so this is an important turn. Whereas, like, I think we just play the Knight of Eben Legion. And then Flash and Black Lines. If they don't have Clarion, then I'm in a good spot. This also gets bigger now. I could Flash this in, play Inspiring Veteran. And then that plays around even if they have the tokens. Doesn't matter here. So they're going to take enough damage that this will get to 4 power, so if they sweep I at least draw a card. So if they're double blocking that means they don't have a sweeper here. <clears throat> I 
and then we'll just uh, flash this in on their end step. Yep, and that's how you run down Luca. Gotta go quick. Uh, so this matchup, we're gonna bring in Duress and a D Spark. Gonna take out the Dire Tactics and the Worthy Knights. Don't want a Dire Tactic. So the thing is with Worthy Knight, they're gonna bring in more sweepers, so I don't particularly want to go too wide. The, the spark can hit some of their big things. Well, do I care about the spark? Yeah, the spark can hit fires. Everything else is aggressive. They won't bring in artifacts against us. Question is, do I want another dire tactics? Because if we could kill their token, then we're in a good spot. Nah, I think we just try to run them down. Because <clears throat> if they minus on Luca on the token, we can kill the token in response. They, the way they don't get the effect. But really, they're probably going to bring in Dream Trawler, to be honest. At least that's been my board plan against these aggro decks. Like here, that we don't have one particular threat that's worth stealing. Um, I'm gonna mulligan this hand. Okay, this hand's better. This threat hand gives me a threat on one. If I draw an untapped source, then I can duress and hit. Hey, AK. Okay. We're jamming the list, seeing how it does. So this being untap or being a tap land is a little awkward. Oh, I can't even cast the rest with this. So hoping to dodge Clarion this turn. You're human, you're human as well. No Clarion. Yeah, I might take out the Trino. Seems a little la lackluster. Um, see what's hanging out here. Okay, well their hand's not doing much. So if we can kill them, before this trawler comes down, we're in an okay spot. My worst Not hitting a land. I think I might cut the trinome. They're probably dead though. They can just go Yorion next turn. Our draw is very slow. If we would have been able to duress last turn to take the fairy, would have been okay. Yeah, I need you another Teferi. I, can go longer. Stand by and watch. I can't race this. No, I am not making this up as I go. They're gonna go Yori on this turn and then Dream Trawler. I don't have enough pressure in place to take down the Dream Trawler. Um Do I just want another threat? Maybe on the play. We bring in a Worthy Knight. Bring in a couple. Black Lance hits hard, but it dies to uh, any of the tokens. Like that game, they didn't even combo. It was just they had time. And that's where Teferi's tough, right? Like it invalidated our board state without a sweeper. Um, keep this. I think we naturally just try to hit an untapped source for this inspiring veteran. Otherwise, both humans, so I can only protect one. That's good.
So we might be able to juke him this game. Fight is one's a little tricky. Like it's poor when they have Teferi out. But it's very good against sweepers. Um I think we shock here. Cause I can protect I can protect this if they have a sweeper. Put the counter on it. And if they go to fairy, then I can just play this out. And we have Worthy Knight. Just in case I can't mistap, but knowing this game sometimes. The unfortunate thing is our entire board's human. So we can only protect one thing. See here if they double block. I think we maybe protect the Lord. Because, like, this gets worse in the face of tokens. And the, if they have a board wipe here, we will get to draw a card. Luris and cast something out of my graveyard if needed. So here, if they have a wipe, they have a wipe. If not, I'm threatening lethal. They can Yorion and blink. Probably their play. Gains them two life as well. So attack with everything. See how they want to block. I can go Dream Trawler again. Like we're all in at this point of the game. Just gonna hold the land. If they have a wipe, they have a wipe. Cause if they, they probably took out Conker's death versus us. They just have like an omen or something. And we may be able to play around Dream Trawler. Okay, that bodes well. We do get wrecked by Clarion still. Okay, that just buys him a turn. So I won't attack in with Luris. Not 
Not drawing the land there sucks. So I'm doing this main phase. I guess I could have waited to see how they blocked. So I think what I do, send these two at Narset. This at the opponent. Now they need to decide if they want to protect Narset. They're throwing a block there. Yeah, I, I misplayed here. I should have done this at instant speed. You should be able to cast it from Graveyard with Flash. So Narset will die with a minus. The nice thing here is I could pump this at a Clarion range. So at least gives me one threat. Yeah, that might cost us the game. They keep drawing these stupid uh, omens. It's just buffering their life total so much. There go, omen. Kind of surprised they haven't taken the Worthy Knight off the battlefield. If we stop drawing lands, that would be great. Really, truly. Needed some form of extra action, a protection spell, a duress even. D spark would be good. At this point, we're basically just treading water. They get an 0 4 now. Tef. Let's see if they bounce with Tef here. Could just be Omen again, to be honest. Seems super reasonable. Is this board wipe? Tef protects around the protection spell. Or Yori and blink your whole board. Yep. We just gain six life and get a whole bunch of blockers. We will meet again. This isn't a fight you can win. Yeah, this deck's drawn well, this game. Holy shit, it's not a land. Um, I think we shot... No, I don't need to shock in here. I think at this point... We just go face with everything. This is... During each of your turns. So I'll probably give this death touch.
just to take the wall off the battlefield. Oh no, you can't flash this in. Hmm. That's the most damage. I get another wall. Oh, cause Tef, yeah, yeah. And they're gonna do the Luca thing again, or the uh, Yorion bounce. So every turn, they're just gonna keep recycling this. And now I've kind of fallen behind. I need a dire tactic. Yeah, they have Elspeth as well, gain five life. We don't draw the Dispark or the Dire Tactic. We took out the Dire Tactic, so. If you are going to fight, Just pretty fight much DOA. Yeah. I need to hit exactly the Spark to get Yorian off the battlefield. The fact that the combo deck is a control deck that also invalidates every other deck is just nonsense. They have 8 tokens, 12, or 10, 12, plus this. Fervent doesn't even do it. So maybe we do need to keep the um, the exile effects in just to get Yorian off the battlefield. Because even at this point they could bounce Yorian, wipe the board, they're getting five a turn. Yeah, this is over. Shitty. Okay, I like the deck. So we're gonna keep this. Put away the Rimrock, cause it's not gonna do too much. Okay, so this is Elementals. smashing for as much damage as possible here and then we could black lance on end turn then untap and play veteran now i think we save this for when they have a creature i want to optimize damage right now We could also just like Genesis Ultimatum next turn, which is really annoying. I... 
yeah. So we lost the first one. They ended up Scorch Splittering and dealing the damage. So I can kill this. Or... Okay, so they're not blocking. They're not going to block. I th think we get rid of this. The way we lose is if they Genesis Ultimatum. Yeah, so they had exactly Scorch Spitter into Shock. Otherwise, we probably could have stabilized. No, Arena did crash again. It's been uh, twice during this stream. And then both times it went to the companion mode, so we couldn't even finish out the games. I want to actually see how Mono Red went. I do think looking at our sideboard, we may want a, some concession to the creature matchups. And maybe have a little bit more removal. That's kind of annoying. Um, I can lure us here. So unless they hit like really well off Genesis Ultimatum, which that block that they did suggests to me that they have it, I think we're in a pretty good spot. If they get like eight, yeah, sweet. And that's what you gotta do against these big mana decks is just pressure them. Um, so in this matchup, the Spark, bring in that. I don't know if we want anything else. Like, the dead weights aren't that good. I think we have too many duress. And I don't think we need this if we have Soul Guide Lantern. Or just get rid of this dead weight. Like, Dire Tactics is so much better to just be playing that. Hey, thanks for the host, Magic. Uh, two cuts. Rimrock Knight's probably reasonable. Swordmaster can help us just push through. Probably just cut these. They don't block. And you can't do the Sully favor or whatever the uh, one mana effect is. So I think same as last game. This hand would be great with a one drop if we draw one. Instead we draw another land. No grazer from them bodes well. Get the spiral. Play draw is going to be very much a determinant factor here. Especially when we haven't drawn spells. Because we don't have removal, I'm just going to do this. We did lose out on a point of damage. Because I'm going to have to use this defensively, I think. They're getting to the point where they're going to have a big threat. So Omnath, two damage, hit my knight. Yeah, too many lands. I haven't drawn a spell. They get the other counter here. Once they get to this part of the game, even if we kill the Omnath, it's not going to do much. So maybe we do want the dead weight. Just, oh no, Fire Friend's good. Get rid of Rimrock. It can make even some of their bigger stuff just more manageable to push through. But I gotta fix the sideboard. There's enough decks where like the exile from thing would be reasonable. It's kind of slow.
We have like 25 creatures. Yeah, it seems very odd. Like they had the pearl white guy that I took out. Because like, you're already good in the, like, the aggressive matchup. Let's fix up the sideboard. It's... When you molt... You are playing a deck with 12 one-drops. And a bunch of two-drops. And you can't find... So I don't like Rimrock. Go up a dire tactic. Do we want Falmire? Like, could be reasonable. This is also a knight, or we can go. Stormfist is actually a good idea. Stormfist, both having menace and drawing us cards, seems reasonable. Uh, get rid of a duress. I guess Deadweight's fine in these smaller creature mirrors. I honestly don't care about artifacts. It turns off our Luris, but we can, we're still an aggressive deck. Um, I really just want to prioritize removal. Go. What else could we go? Can't go Bone Crusher. We can do the one that deals one damage each creature, but not that great. Maybe a couple fries, but we're not really trying to combo. Yeah, Drill Bit's a good call. Being able to hit everything. I don't think we need Apostle. Let's play three Lanterns. Two to Spark. We have the fourth thing. So what do we get? I want some sort of card advantage. Um, noxious grass, probably not. Maybe it's just Myers grasp. Bring in a couple of those, and maybe go up the last drill bit. Because we can't play Theater of Horrors. There's no Planeswalkers we can play. What's that do? Suffocating Fumes. Creatures your opponent control. Could be good against the... I figure if we have these, we're probably okay. Maybe just go up another drill bit. What do we get in... Rakdos? Do we just want these? But that's probably going to be hard to cast off some of our lands. Oh, I also want to cut. Oh no, I want to cut a trinome. And then what do we get in Boros? We can play Justice Strike. Is reasonable. Solar Blair Blaze kills our stuff. Let's just go up another drill bit. 
another Myers Grasp. Probably it. Yeah, we can go Formation. This might be too cute. I, I don't like Chance for Glory. It's too situationally. I want to play the full four in there. Let's do uh, Formation. And then, uh, so it's not that great against a fairy, but in these kind of blank situations, we can do that. I think I might just want Lava Coil or Scorching Dragon Fire. Or against like the bigger decks. Yeah, let's try it like this. I'm gonna give it a reset before we pump in again. This video is gonna be fun to cut with the crashes. All right. Let's try this again. There might be some merit to like Corpse Knight. Dire Tactics is so good. If you can play it, you gotta play it. Yeah, I want to try out this Stormfist Crusader. Like, it'll come out against aggro, but a lot of those games we just ran out of gas. Alright. So we don't know what we're playing against. So let's run it back. The flyer might be reasonable, but we've been seeing, like, we played Yorian Elementals twice before it crashed. We've played Yorian Fires. And we played Mono Red. I feel like a lot of people are off Yorian, uh, f uh, like Jeskai Luka, just from a gameplay standpoint. Like, it's the best deck, but like, I'm, I'm not going to be playing it anymore. It's very drawn out to go through the actions. Come on, opponent. I think in the end we're going to get two matches out of a, an hour stream. Not the best hand, but okay, so they're Gruel. Formation is actually really good in this case. I'll probably just use the Black Lance to trade, or is it Simic Stompy? So we just take the hit this turn.
And then next turn I could block Lance. Okay, they have Spellbreaker. That's also reasonable. That doesn't turn on Wish my hand had one more black mana. Just being able to play like another spell this turn. I'm not going to block with this, so we take the attack. This game is likely going to turn into a race. This looks like Ember Cleave to me. I'm surprised they did that. So I'm gonna do this. Let's see what they do here. They've turned off their love struck. This might just be equipped here and attack. I could pump this up to four. If they don't do anything. This might be move this here for next turn. That. So if we draw a line, we can do both. Um, I think this turn, just based on what they're going to do, I need to hold up formation to block here. Because then I'm taking 10, 12. I have to throw enough power in front of it. I'm probably still dead anyways. Move that there. Attack with the team. Lock there. So it's two, four, six. I am taking six, seven, eight, nine. Throw this in, gain three life here. That dies. I have a one one, I have a three three. No, I don't think we win from that spot. So they can see a quick game one. I have a second Ember Cleave. Still seems wrong. So if that's the case. Now they have exaxes. I need to do the life link. Yeah, now they saw the line there. Okay, so Dragon Fires, Disparks, Myers Grasp. Stormfist comes out. 
formation is actually okay. Can I get rid of fight as one here? Have dedicated removal. We've seen more gruel on the ladder today than I've seen like in the last month. This hand is gas. So I think the plan here Attack in this turn. Attack in this turn. This is the hand we want to see. This also pumps up the team. Double green's not that great for them. So this way I'm guaranteed six damage through. it nice and simple easy peasy all right i think this version's a lot more reasonable i'm thinking we want i think we want justice strike Just being able to kill bigger things is reasonable. I think we just run it like that. All right, I'm gonna wrap this one up. We finally got a full match in. Arena has been less than cooperative today. Um, so we're gonna wrap it up. I'll see what I can cut together into a YouTube video, have that fully up. Um, final version we settled on was formations, the storm fist in the main, four dire tactics main and then four fight as ones i think that's a good mix of creatures and non-creatures this will give us some card advantage um better than the rim rock one did i forget to add a land 23 i did forget to add a land oops we have mostly humans so I think what we do is just go up. Oh no, we always had that line there. Keep it as is. Um, so I'm gonna wrap this one up. Thanks for stopping by as always. Have yourself a great rest of the day and we'll catch you on the other side. Be safe, have fun.